Hey everyone, Dr. Ram back here. We're gonna do the third video of our knee series. Today we're gonna talk about patellofemoral pain syndrome. So we have Daniel here, he's gonna help us out to demonstrate what it actually looks like when you have this syndrome. It's gonna present a lot like the patellar tracking syndrome that we talked about in our first video. The main difference is, along with that catching sensation, you're gonna see knee buckling or excessive valgus forces being placed on the knee. These excessive valgus forces are gonna look like the knee's almost collapsing inwards. So Daniel's gonna show us what a normal squat would look like right here. So as Daniel goes down and does his squat, he has proper alignment, his knees aren't going in or out at all. And he's gonna come back on up, that's great form. Now he's gonna show us what valgus forces will look like if the knee's buckling inwards. So go ahead and show us. So as you can see, his knee's buckling inwards and that's putting excessive forces along the lateral aspect of the knee. When that occurs, it can cause a lot of discomfort, a lot of pain, especially with going upstairs, downstairs. Different types of treatment you can do for patellofemoral pain syndrome include sports rehab, specifically stretching out or strengthening those muscles that are weak. Another treatment you can do is getting some type of knee brace for that knee. Particularly, you want to look for a brace that's going to have very strong lateral support as well as medial support to prevent that knee from collapsing in. So as Daniel goes down and does a squat for us, you're going to notice that the brace is actually supporting these lateral aspects and the medial aspect. So if you have any of these conditions, any of these symptoms, make sure to get some treatment for it. All right, have a great day. Dr. Ram signing off.